To upload the brake test results from Turnkey's brake testing equipment to the MTS or MOT testing system, you have to install Turnkey's brake testing app on your Android device. Go to Google's Play Store on your Android device and search for brake testing app. Select the app from Turnkey Instruments. You can check the requirements and the details in this section. You will need the key files from DVSA to allow this app to upload the results to MTS. You will also need a USB PC link cable for your equipment and on the go cable to connect your brake tester to the Android device. If you want to find out more about the connected MOT equipment and how you can generate the key files, click on the link in the description. Make sure you have all the required items. Then install the app. Once the app is installed, you need to transfer the key files to the Android device. As mentioned before, you have to get the key files from DVSA to allow the app to connect to MTS. You can generate these key files from the DVSA's website. These key files are specific for your MOT center and allow the apps to get the list of active MOT tests and upload the results for these tests. Usually, DVSA sends the keys and certificate files in a password protected zip file. The easiest way to transfer the key files to the Android device is to send the zip file via email to the email address which you can access on the Android device. You can also transfer the zip file by connecting the Android device to the PC and copy the files in the internal memory. For this demo, I have sent the zip file via email to a Gmail account which I can access on this device. Open the Gmail app. Open the email which has the zip file attached. And download the zip file. By default, the downloaded files are saved into a directory called download in the internal memory of the Android device. After you have downloaded the key files, open the break testing app. When you open the app for the first time, it asks for the required permissions and gives you the option to set up the MTS client. Allow the required permissions. And tap OK to set up the MTS client. Now tap the Browse button. And navigate to Download Directory. This directory will have the zip file you downloaded earlier. If the zip file is not available in this directory, Please double check where it is downloaded from the email and navigate to that directory. And select the zip file. If the zip file is password protected, the app will ask for the password. Enter the password here, and tap OK. This should unzip the key and certificate files in the correct location and display a confirmation message. The client ID text box should be filled with your unique MTS client ID that is assigned to your MOT center by DVSA. The app should automatically fill in the location if you have given the permission otherwise you can fill the location and tap update button to save the settings. The bottom left section should display your client ID. Now you can go to select vehicle to confirm the connection. The app will display a loading icon with a message connecting to MTS, which should change to connected to MTS if the key files are valid and you have set up the MTS client correctly. This section should display a list of all the active MOT tests in your DVSA account. If you don't have any active MOT tests, the app will display an error message at the top of the screen, unable to collect data. The app should still be able to connect to MTS if the client is set up correctly. And you should see the loading message change to connected to MTS. This concludes the setup of the brake testing app. You only have to set up the app once, and the app will save the client settings, 
unless you delete the key file from your device or the MTS client ID is changed by DVSA. After you have performed the break test. To upload the break test results to MTS, you first have to download them, into the break testing app and upload to MTS from the app. Connect the PC link cable to your break tester. Connect the other end of the PC link cable to, on the go cable. Now connect the on the go cable to your Android device. When you connect the PC link cable, the Android device will ask for the permission to allow communications via USB port. You must grant the permissions. You can also make the app default for PC link communication so the app will automatically open as soon as you connect the PC link cable. The app should start communicating with the brake tester. You can observe the lights on the PC link cable when it's transmitting the data. The app should display the information from the instrument if connected properly. Now, back to the app. Tap on select vehicle option. Here you can see the list of active MOT tests in your account. Your device must be connected to internet to get the data from MTS. Select a vehicle from the list, for which you have performed the brake tests. The app will show the registration of the selected vehicle on this option. Now tap on the brake test results option. Here you can select the type of the brake tester you have. If you have a G meter, select G meter. Because G meter can only save one test result at a time. You have to perform both main brake test and parking brake test separately and download the results into the app one by one. If you have performed the main brake test first, select main brake here, and download the result into the app. The app will show you the message to perform the other test before you can upload the results to MTS. Now perform the parking brake test. Once you have performed the parking brake test, Connect the brake tester to the Android device. And tap on, get data from G meter button, at the bottom. Select parking to download the parking brake test result. You have to download both test results into the app to upload the data to MTS. The app will not allow you to upload to MTS, if you have not downloaded both test results into the app. You can check the results on these tabs. Make sure your device is connected to the internet, otherwise, you cannot upload the data. Tap on the, Upload Data to MTS button, to upload results to the cloud. The app should display loading icon and, connected to MTS message, on the screen. Once the data has been uploaded, you should see the confirmation message on the screen. You can now check the results for the MOT test on the website. I will repeat the process for GMeter Plus. Because GMeter Plus can store three test results. You can perform the tests together and store the results within the GMeter Plus. Select, Test 1 in GMeter Plus, for main brake test. And select, test 3, for parking brake test. Now you can download the results into the app together. And upload the results to MTS.